My name is Kelly Kinney. I am an outside right side at Tribe Volleyball. I graduate in 2025 and I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida. What are some of your favorite things to do? I love to read. Um, I love going to the beach and hanging out with my friends. I like going out to dinner and I like going to the pool or just going on vacation. What are some of your favorite books to read? I like fantasy books a lot. Um, I hate reading for school, so that whole genre is just not it. But I like fiction and um, I really like mystery. Like I just read this whole series on mystery, so it was really cool. Who's your favorite author? Sarah J. Mass. She wrote the Throne of Glass series, and it's my favorite series ever. What's something unique about you? I never wanted to be a volleyball player. I think that I started out swimming, and I thought I was going to be like in the Olympics for swim, but. I kind of figured out that I was too tall <laughs> and I think that my height probably would have gone somewhere else. So I tried basketball, but I was really bad. And then I tried volleyball and I found what I love to do. When did you start playing volleyball? When I was 10. So I've been playing for six years. Have you always been this good? Um, I actually just moved to my position like three years ago. I used to be a middle because I was tall. But um, I took volleyball a lot more serious, I think, the last two years, my 15th year is the first year because I knew I wanted to play in college. So I think that like having, being surrounded by people who really liked volleyball and like we're gonna play at the next level kind of like motivated me to play. And I started taking my fitness more seriously. And just since then I, well I'm committed now. So ever since then I just have gotten better. What's your workout regimen look like? And when you started taking it more serious, what does that look like? Every day I would be in the weight room with this uh, amazing weight training coach she's new this year or she was new my year it was like freshman year i think and i didn't lift for volleyball like actual high school volleyball because it wasn't a thing when that coach was there so that was my first introduction to weight training and that year was when i kind of figured out that i needed to take care of my body to actually be able to play so i didn't take weight training last year but i obviously still worked out on my own. And then this year we have lift, and last year we had lift right before practice for high school every single day. So it was good to be like refreshed with that every day. But I also think that I learned a lot to listen to my body. So I wouldn't just work out. I would like take days to just stretch or to like do yoga, which I didn't know how important it was until I did it. Um, but I think just listening to my body and making sure I'm in tune with it was really helpful. And weight training taught me that. You kind of struggled through an injury a little bit. Tell me about that injury. Tell me about that high school season. Yeah, so last year, my sophomore year, I was injured with an ab tear. And it was like the hardest mentally and physically challenging thing I've ever had to go through. I think that there was a point where I didn't think I was ever going to get back to the player I was. So that was really challenging. And I originally, I was injured from like in May, April but we didn't know what it was. I thought it was just like a little strain. And that entire summer is when I did all my college camps. So I think that, that all the overwork went into that. So I played my first high school game and I was like in a lot of pain. So I got it checked out. And going on two months, I was playing on an ab tear. So it got worse. And I was out for three months, my entire high school season, which sucked, I'll be honest. It was not fun, but I think I think I learned to be a better teammate off the court because it's a different perspective playing the game when you're on the bench the whole time. And it's not fun, but it's a really good learning experience. And I think that even my parents and all my teachers were telling me that it happened for a reason. And part of the reason was so that I could listen to my body more. And I think from then I take my fitness a lot more like seriously core wise, like ab wise. I I haven't done sit-ups in like a year because of that. Like I do more like practical stuff and I've been doing that with a physical therapist and with my weight training coach. But I think that, like I said, it taught me a lot and I didn't get back to 100% until January that year. So I got injured 
and I was out for three months and then three more months took me back to having to get back to 100%, which was not easy, but it's worth it. Do you think that that was the breaking moment for you, like to listen to your body? It was like, oh, that injury happened, so I should probably start taking like my sports and physical um, attributes seriously. I think that I always knew that I had to obviously work out to stay in shape, but I think that after getting injured, um, it scared me to have to even think that I could get injured again. So I think that obviously scar tissue's there and there was a chance that I would and it's popped up a couple of times. But I think that like making sure that I obviously listen to my body but taking the time to every single day or every other day to do just basic stuff like that doesn't really make me sweat but just like mini stuff. I mean it helped a lot and I think that just giving me that security almost that I wouldn't get injured again was enough motivation to keep doing it. Kelly, tell me a little bit about your family. I will start with my parents. So my dad grew up in California. He was born in Mission Viejo and he played soccer. He went to Columbia for soccer and then he transferred to a smaller school in California. But he was super competitive. He played beach volleyball all the time because it's really big in California. So obviously the roots were strong there, but um, it was fun being able to like listen to the stories about like college wise and just like his journey with soccer. Um, my mom played basketball and tennis and she went to Auburn and then transferred to FSU. So um, it was cool. My sister goes to FSU now. She plays club volleyball and she's studying applied mathematics. So she definitely got the math genes. <laughs> I'm more of English, but she's like heavy on the math and it's really impressive. But I think that she has a really good work ethic. I would say that I look up to her a lot and that even though, because she was injured her entire senior year and that was the last year I was able to play with her. So I think that being able to look up to someone who fought through an injury, um, I can relate to that so much, I think. And it was my last time being able to play with her. So having that memory is like one of my favorite memories I would say but she's just one of the hardest workers I know like she'll wake up every morning and she'll run or she'll work out and it's just like so inspiring to me but I think I mean we don't have the best we're not best friends I would say but we definitely got closer after she moved to college because I realized that I missed her a lot like it's hard being just a single kid you know after coming from like siblings for my entire life but um, I would obviously text her all the time and she would always support me with every volleyball. But my favorite memory with her, I would say, is the Palm Beach Post got a photo of us two blocking together and was the cover of our very last game together for that season. So I always look back at the photo and I just like relieve that entire season. It's just really cool. What are three things that you want to accomplish in your life? Well, I want to win a national championship for volleyball. That's, that's a given, but going back to my recruiting process, I think that that was the one thing I told every single college, and that's also how I eliminated a lot of colleges um, from like whatever list I had. And I think that winning for me isn't just winning a game, but it's also building a relationship with your team and just having a really good time off the court and on the court together. And I think that, because volleyball is not my entire life. Like I'm gonna not play after like, 10 more years of it, you know? I'm not gonna like have it going on for me. So I wanna be set up for college after. But I think that just winning a national championship and getting that ring is just such a special opportunity. Um, we were really close this club season, so that was really cool. But um, that's definitely something I wanna do. I, I mean, I would love to play in the Olympics, but one of my goals was to play on the national team and I'm about to leave and do that. So that was super cool, but Funny story, I actually, the first time I saw um, my age group play on the national team was when I was going to my freshman year. So I wrote on the back of the piece of paper on my kitchen and I was like, Kelly Kinney, six rotation outside national team. And since that's about to come true, I think that's a really cool experience to have. But I mean, non-volleyball related, um, I've always wanted to study abroad or to like go travel Europe and it's really unique about the college I'm going to is I'm able to do that. So hopefully with some of my friends there, I get to go to like Italy 
or I get to go to Switzerland, something really cool. But I mean, Europe is a dream of mine to just go backpacking through. That's what my mom did when she was, I think, in college, and she just always talks about it, so it's really cool. If you had to describe yourself as an ice cream flavor, what would it be and why? I would say fish food from Ben and Jerry's because it's my favorite ice cream, but it's just like there's just everything in it. And I think that for me personally, I have a really bubbly personality and like I think I'm super outgoing, but I also have like a really almost creative side. Like I went to an art school and I think that going there kind of opened me up to like what more I wanted to do in college, like major wise or just like what I'm interested in. So I think that having that personality is super cool. But yeah, fish food is just like the best ice cream too, so. Favorite volleyball moment thus far? I have two. So my first one is qualifying open with my team. Like I've never qualified open in my entire life. And I think that qualifying at the very first qualifier of the entire season was just so special. Um, I mean, this is my first year at Tribe, or last year's my first year at Tribe. And I didn't really come in with any expectations. So I was kind of like, because I played in American the, the year before, so I kind of never had experience at that high level. Um, so I think being able to share that moment with my team, and we all thought we were going home. Like, we, I don't know how we got that far. Like, it was, we were all hurting, we were all sore, like, but the fact that it paid off in the end is just so special. Um, but I also would say that getting my first invite to the U19 training team, that was, very special like that entire night was amazing it was on spring break and we just watched the dream team which was some documentary about um the olympic basketball team and it was just like the whole feeling of being able to represent your country that was insane and that night i got the email and full honesty i thought that they were emailing me to tell me that i wasn't going to make it but then i was like why would they email me that so that was really special tell me a little bit about nationals Tell me about your team um, that you're playing with and how you guys ended the club season. I have like, I have so many emotions for this season. I think this was my favorite season I've ever had. Um, this team is just so special. I mean, half of us are going D1 already. So that, that alone just skill wise is really cool. But as people, everyone on my team is, they're just amazing. Like I feel so comfortable with everybody and they're so supportive on and off the court. And that's always important. But, I mean, going into AAUs first, um, I hadn't played AAUs for three years, so I kind of forgot the tournament. But um, we placed third, and I think my favorite game of the entire season was that semifinals game. I think that we had so many people there, and that atmosphere is just something I really love. And being able to play with my team, with those fans, was amazing. And I think that even though we lost the game, I think that it was such a special experience for all of us because it was a national tournament. I, I mean, I'm yeah. going to interrupt you because I was at, you know, AAU's filming and I have some of the film that I'm sure I'll share. Um, the, the stadium, I mean, the side was packed. Yeah, it was full. Now, you DM'd me on Instagram because I posted the panorama video of it happening and you were like, what? That's yeah. And I was like, yes, it was like, Y'all side was packed and the other side that had the same competition, there was nobody. So obviously your team is something special. Yeah, I mean, I think our team is just so fun to watch. We have obviously all the factors you need on a team, but I think it's just the way we play together and that's super important for a team to have that trust with each other and that's what we had. And it wasn't easy. I think we all were new that year too. So it took a long time to build, but um, yeah, I have a funny a memory from that game is after, because obviously there was like a lot of people there, but my now he's my head coach, Coach Keegan Cook. He's amazing. He texted me after that game and he said, um, the pav is bigger, which is our gym from Minnesota. He said that that stadium is, or that fan base is bigger than you ever think. So being able to have that like expectation for college is super cool. But you guys played eight days later, right? Like Yeah. No, we had like two days in between to take a break. Yeah, tell me about that. That was that was a lot. I mean, I think going back to like the listening to your body thing, I did so much recovery between that, but it was definitely worth it because Nationals was so fun. Like, I can't remember the last time I played with that high of a level team for that long of a time. Like, there was not one game that we played bad, I think. I mean, we lost, I think, two games, and both of them 
we there were good losses. Like the other team beat us, so we didn't lose. Like it was just it was amazing. But just being able to place third at another national tournament is so awesome. Like, that semifinal game again was incredible. Like, it's just the atmosphere. I think for me is I want to play somewhere where the atmosphere is, in, is just amazing. And that was the Kiva game. That was the first Alliance game. And it was just amazing. But... And you walked away with some hardware. Yeah. We walked away. Oh, yeah. Bronze medal. Yeah. Oh yeah, me and my amazing teammates at Coe Barnes, we got All-American and that was really cool. Or All-Tournament teams. I'm pretty sure Prep Dig uh, listed you as an All-American. Oh yeah, it was me, Mia, Charlotte, and T, so that was How really does it awesome. feel to be an All-American, All-Tournament team? Like, those are some pretty big uh, feelings. How, do, how does that feel um, as an athlete? Um, for me, I'm just really happy that my teammates got it too. I mean, I think that it's awesome if I get something, but I think that having that special, like, to share it with someone else is really cool. Like, me and T, T was just, she was amazing. Those two tournaments, she earned everything she got. And I think that being able to share that with her was awesome. But even getting, like, All-Americans with my team, I think every one of them deserved it. And I think that it's just nice for them to get recognition, too. So um, it was awesome. And then all of a sudden, we're all committing. So I think that was crazy to see all of us going to either rival schools or we're going to play each other. So that was really cool. Tell me a little bit about the U21 situation. What's going on with that? I My first national team call up was for the U19 national team. And it was for the Pan Am Games, which is Pan America. So it was like not as international as the world championships is. But I tried out for that team and 20 girls were selected to try out and 12 were asked to go travel to Puerto Rico. But I wasn't one of those 12, and I think that that was really hard on me. But if you ask any of my teammates, I think that after I came back, I came back a different person and a different athlete. I think that I worked so much harder after that, and I realized what more I wanted. Like, my goal is always to be on the national team, and the one time I don't make it, that makes me want it even more. So that was really cool. But um, I just got the call up to the U21 national team, and... It was just the best feeling ever. It hasn't even sunk in yet, honestly. And I leave in a couple of days to fly to California and to just train for a little bit. And then we go to Mexico. And it's a really unique situation, too, because U21 normally is made up of college girls because um, college girls are normally better than 16-year-olds. But now that, obviously, college season is happening, they're going back to the U19 teams. And I was fortunate enough to get that call up, and I'm really excited. But it's just, it's just unbelievable being, be able, being able to like wear that USA flag on your jersey and to have your last name on that US jersey is just unexplainable. Like I can't even, I can't even, I don't have words for it. And I just can't wait for the moment where I get to step on stage and I get to have that national anthem playing. It's just, it's amazing. But um, I'm super excited. My friends are on the team too, so I know the team. But I mean... Hopefully we do good. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just going to make sure we have a lot of fun and we get better together. And I think that the most important thing is just being able to get taught how to respect not only each other, but the people who don't have the opportunity to play volleyball at that level. And I think that not taking that for granted is super important. So I'm excited. You're committed to the University of Minnesota. Go Gophers. Yes. Talk yes. to me about that. Yeah, it was, a, it was a hard choice. I think that I had a list of my top schools for a long time, and I think that I, on that June 15th when the call started, I made sure I had a list of my values in a program. And the first conversation I had with my head coach was about the values in this program, and it was just so perfectly accurate with mine that I was just blown away. And I previously, he was the coach of the U19 team, 
So I, I got to be coached under him, which is really cool. But I think one of the best parts about Minnesota is not only the culture there, but just the support system and the assistant coaches there. Like I had one call and I knew that they were immediately at the top of my list. Like I just had that feeling. And then um, the entire summer I was planning on taking my official visit. So I was kind of like pushing it off and I didn't really like want to focus it on it now. I wanted to focus on nationals, but after nationals that day, I called both my coaches and I committed. And I think that okay, I just sorry, I'm in the middle of camp and I was on Ox. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't want to have somebody think this is not late. Okay, hi, what's up? Hi. Um. So I just wanted to call and let you know. So you're like the first person I'm telling this that I'm committing to Minnesota. <gasps> I can't see you. Hi! Hi! Wait, okay, will you say that again? Yeah, I'm committing to Minnesota. Oh my gosh, Kelly! Yeah, I'm really happy. We, um, I think I've been thinking about it for a while. I think ever since AUs, I kind of just felt that Minnesota was kind of the place for me. And then after talking to McKenna, that made me, like, kind of seal the deal, so... It was really awesome, but um, I want to tell you first because I mean I just feel really like, like you're like the main person I just really feel connected to at Minnesota almost. But how, how should I tell Keegan? I would just Facetime him. Oh my god, like my heart is racing. Look, I'm wearing your mom's prayer bracelet. Oh, right here. <laughs> so I wanted to call you and tell you that I'm gonna commit to Minnesota for volleyball. <laughs> So yeah, I just called Kristen and I just thought about obviously telling you guys, so I'm really excited. I've been talking to my parents for a long time and I think it's really the place I want to be, so. Wow. Oh, well, it's gonna be hard to talk to these campers now because I'm gonna be pumped. Gonna be like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kelly, that's really, really special. Um, a little unexpected. You gotta give me more warning next time. Uh, just... called both my yeah, coaches you know and I, I committed, I and I think that I just knew that Minnesota was a place I wanted to be. Like, I know what I know. Like, you know when you know. That's it. It's on the inside of my dad's wedding bands, and I think that that's what I told myself this entire process. But I've had dreams at playing in the Big Ten, and that's always something I wanted to do. So I think that. Being able to play in that atmosphere, especially against my future teammates on my tribe team now, I get to play with them and play against them too. But I think that just having that fan base, like I said, with the Kiva game and the semis game, like it's another it's another level. And um, obviously, it's going to be cold, but it's okay. I can get through that. <laughs> but it's no more just... pole time up there. <laughs> no more tanning up there. No either. more tanning up there. <laughs> but yeah, I just I can't wait and. I know I make the right decision when I have other coaches saying that I made the right choice because, I mean, you can't go wrong with my head coach. You can't go wrong with my assistant coaches. Like, they're all amazing. And I got to talk to one of the players, and that was, like, I that sold it for me. Like, that was just amazing. And just having that almost older sister in that program and being able to, like, talk to her not as someone who I look up to but just as a friend is super special but I'm excited for college, so, yay. Awesome. You have two more years, so don't be too excited. Yeah. Um, is there anything else that you want to kind of share, uh, tell to the camera? I mean, I might win a state championship with my high school team this year. We're really good, and I'm excited to see what happens, but all in good time. I love it. You know, I think I, I think we've taken maybe 52 flights this year since December trying to find the kids that will be our gophers and um, and, and you were one of them and um, so I don't know a special moment it's the first recruiting class for us and um, yeah you just made my day and my year and uh, I don't know I hope you realize that the game gives back to the people who give themselves uh, to it and you've done that and um, I respect you very much for, for how you